pentadactyl limb. limb. As you can see, it has five sides, or five. Um, and this is why the pentadactyl limb is called what it is, because it has five components. Dactyl, it means fingers, which also links to the pentadactyl limb, which has five digits. The pentadactyl limb is a common forelimb fore structure found in animals that descended from the same ancestor, known as tetrapods. It consists of the humerus, the bone in the upper arm or forelimb. The humerus joins at the shoulder and elbow area. Radius is within the forearm area and is thicker and shorter than the ulna, which is thinner and longer and runs parallel to the radius. The ulna attaches itself to the opposite side of the thumb. The carpal bones are within the hand and wrist structure and join to the metacarpals and phalange bones. The size, shape present, and presence of these bones differs between species. The structure originates from millions of years ago within horses and is estimated to be present as long as 80 million years ago. However, this structure isn't just present in horses. This structure is evident in all different species of animals such as the human, bat, cow and whale. All of these animals descend from the same common ancestor, as suggested by their homologous anatomy. But due to various environmental pressures, varying functional needs, and millions of years of evolution and natural selection, have evolved over time to show differences in the structure of the pentadactyl limb. Evolution is the change of a species' hereditary traits over time, and this is proven by comparative anatomy as well as the transition of varying species such as the horse. The horse's pentadactyl limb originated within the first Eochippus. This form had three points of contact to the ground. Through environmental changes, these three points have become unnecessary and have fused to form an elongated forelimb and hoof to support their weight. The human's pentadactyl limb consists of the humerus, the ulna, the radius, the carpals and the phalanges. An Australian example of the pentadactyl limb is Russell Cook. As you can see here, he's using his pentadactyl limb and his opposable thumb to grip his mug. In the human, the pentadactyl limb's main function is manipulation. The manipulation action provides a range of grips such as the ability to pick up items and complete complex manoeuvres such as riding and throwing a ball. These movements can be completed fluently due to the opposable thumb situated opposite the ulna and considered one of the five extensions of the phalanges. The thumb gives the ability to grasp strongly as well as increase the range of movement and the dexterity of the pentadactyl limb of the bat includes the humerus, the radius, the ulna, it's very small, the carpals and the phalanges and this is all elongated. Bats also have the pentadactyl structure present within their wings. Although due to varying natural pressures, the structure of the limb is very different, especially in comparison to other animals that fly, such as the magpie. The bat's pentadactyl limb has elongated phalanges and metacarpals. These are present to assist the bat in flying and gliding. The elongated phalanges and metacarpals support the wings, make the wrists increasingly stable supporting their overall fly motion and allowing for gliding to be more efficient. The bones within the structure are also lighter and more brittle, although this can be dangerous to the bat. It is gen generally of benefit due to the fact that it decreases the weight of the bones, making flying more effective. The bird is another example of a species that has the pentadactyl limb. In the bird, the pentadactyl limb consists of the humerus, the radius, the ulna, and the phalanges, which are in three digits. In the bird, and in particular the Australian magpie, the forelimb became adapted for flight, and so the hand was more reduced than ever. There are still actually three carpals in most birds, but they are very small and their main role is to provide attachment for things like feathers. Regardless, birds still have all of the other bones of the pentadactyl limb present. They are elongated and thin, and somewhat similar to the bat as they support them whilst flying. In the cow, the pentadactyl limb consists of the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the carpals and phalanges put together. Within Australia, cattle are one of the major livestock forms. The cow's pentadactyl limb is found in the forelimbs, although 
Their phalanges and tarsal bones are all compressed into a hoof, although the rest of their ulna, radius and humerus are present in all four legs. The hoof is an adaptation also proven to be beneficial in running in the flat environments of Australia.